This is Anthony Hughes and he was Jeffrey Dahmer's 12th victim. Hughes, who also goes by Tony, was born on August 26, 1959 and was 31 years old at the time of his death. He was permanently deaf and mute due to the side effects of medicine given to him as a child. Despite these challenges, he pursued a career in modeling and moved to Madison, Wisconsin to attend college and chase his dreams. However, due to his disability, Hughes struggled to find work and ended up at a clothing store where he communicated with his manager through sign language. His sister, Barbara Hughes Holt, described him as a party person who loved to dance and added that he was not one that you could fool. He wasn't a naive person at all. In this case, it was reported that Hughes and Dahmer had been seen together by witnesses before the night he was murdered. On the night of May 24, 1991, Hughes and Dahmer met at Club 219 in Milwaukee, and Dahmer proposed a nude photo shoot to Hughes, who then agreed to go home with him. Once there, Dahmer drugged and strangled Hughes before dismembering his body and dissolving it in acid, keeping his skull as a trophy. Hughes' remains, including his skull and vertebrae, were discovered in Dahmer's apartment in July 1991. Hughes was identified through his dental records and his mother, Shirley, was notified of her son's death in early July. Shirley revealed in an interview with the Associated Press that her son had taken a new job two weeks earlier but never got his first paycheck. She was unable to contact the friend he had mentioned he would be working with, as she only knew the first name, Jeffrey. Despite the tragedy of losing her son in such a brutal manner, Shirley remembered him as a loving and determined young man who never let his disability hold him back. At Dahmer's trial in 1992, Shirley bravely stood before the court to deliver a victim impact statement. She read a powerful poem written by one of her son's friends. Shirley's emotions were palpable as she gave voice to the grief and pain that had been inflicted upon her and her family. As she brought her statement to a close, Shirley signed, I love you, in American Sign Language, a poignant and heart-wrenching gesture that spoke to the deep love and affection she had for her son. I know it because you're thinking that two fingers and one thumb means I love you in sign language. My son was deaf. When you cry, take one teardrop and place it outside your window ledge. And when I pass by, I'll exchange it for one of mine. Two fingers and one thumb, Mom. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we will continue to go through each of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims in the upcoming videos.